Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. I always like when the weekends are coming because it's an opportunity just to kick back and relax. I encourage you to take some rest time. Remember, even God rested. So make sure you get some rest to rejuvenate and recharge. We're still looking at grace and I kept this example for the last. It is the book of Esther. Once again, it's another book for you to read on your own. It is a very, very good story of the book of Esther. And so let's go down to chapter 4 verse 16 and 17 go gather all the jews who are present in shushan and fast from me neither eat or drink for three days night or day my maidens and i will fast likewise and so i will go to the king which is against the law and if i perish i perish so mordecai went his way and did according to all that esther commanded read the book of esther is a really really good account and when you read it you would realize the situation that the jews were in trouble they were facing death okay and esther found out about it and initially she was not necessarily open or willing because the reality of it is if you go into the king without being invited even though she was his wife she was the queen she could not do that the king could kill her and so obviously she was not very enthusiastic about doing this but by the time Mordecai spoke to her again and said but what if you were called to the kingdom for such a time as this it kind of jolted her senses and then this is what she said if I perish, I perish. She made a decision uh, to make herself available for God's grace to flow to the Jews. Uh, because Mordecai said to her, but who's to say that you're going to be spared? You're a Jew as well. And she's saying, if I perish, I perish. Uh, she went into the, the king and thankfully she was not executed, but the king extended grace to her. And then from there, they were able to circumvent what they were facing and the Jews were not killed by Haman. Esther stood in this position and she stood in this position knowing that she could have been executed. Sometimes we are called into positions to, to stand in a position whereby God can flow through us with his grace. Is it your workplace? Is it with a colleague? Is it a family member? Is it your marriage, your children? What is God calling you to stand in that is such a great detriment for you? It may not be deaf, but it may be something that is very hurtful, very challenging. But God is calling us to stand in that thing and allow him to work through us by showing love and forgiveness and compassion and helping those persons, even though they're not so nice to you. When we stand in that position, that person is given the opportunity to experience God's grace. God's grace is divine influence to live a godly life. We are called to do the work by God's grace, but we are also called to be used by God for God's grace to flow through us to other people. Next week, by the grace of God, we're going to transition from reading in the Bible and we're going to start to hear about life stories of family members. I hope that they're going to do the recording and send to me. I'm putting them on the spot right now, but I've reached out to certain persons. And if you have any testimony at all, whereby God has used grace, use you um, in a gracious manner or use you to help someone through his grace, please record it, audio, video, send it to me. Let us share it with family members so that we can now be a source of encouragement for each other to not only utilize the grace that God has given to us to, to live a godly life, but also to be a vessel of grace that God will flow through in order to reach other persons as well. Have a wonderful weekend.